I've roamed and rambled, and I've followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. Whiskey Cast. Brought to you by Redbreast. The definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Those in the know, know Redbreast. It's a Friday afternoon at Stranahan's Distillery in Denver, Colorado. The bar is hopping. And the hourly tours are full. Always designed by nose and taste and creating uh, that, uh, that expression um, that is going to be unique to uh, the, the snowflake I released before. So as in nature, no two snowflakes are alike. So I always like to create something just a little bit different every year, uh, sometimes even extraordinarily different than the year before. But uh, this isn't your typical exciting. Friday afternoon. That's because it's what might be called Snowflake Eve at Stranahan's the day before the distillery releases its annual Snowflake limited edition single malt. Jess Graber started out with um, doing a little mess around with some cask finishes. The very first three Snowflakes uh, he, he actually released at the same time. Uh, so the first uh, Snowflake was a Hungarian white oak uh, cask finish. Um, then there was a port cask finish and a Cab Franc cask finish. All single barrel and all separate uh, different cask finishes. Um, I actually have one bottle of every snowflake all the way through all the, all the batches, uh, which is kind of fun to see how it's evolved from, from those days. Stranahan's master distiller, Rob Dietrich, took over from the distillery's founder, Jess Graber, back in 2011. In the early days, snowflake came out twice a year, but a few years ago, they started releasing it only on the first Saturday of December. And each year, people started showing up earlier and earlier to wait in line. My first time was in June of 2014. My wife and I were here for our wedding anniversary in Denver, and I got in line at 2 o'clock in the morning on our anniversary with her blessing uh, to stand in line for the Pikes Peak release of Snowflake. With her blessing on your anniversary? With her blessing on our anniversary. That's a very understanding spouse. Yes, and she was very understanding when I said I was going to come camp today, and I got here at 9.45 today, and I'm about 50th in line. Why do you do this each year? Uh, I love Stranahan's whiskey, and I love the, the uniqueness of the Snowflake release each year. I, they're all uh, different and uh, a fascinating uh, expression of whiskey. The 2017 Snowflake, named Quandary Peak after the Colorado Mountain, is Rob Dietrich's blend of seven different cask finishes, three different types of rum casks, along with Madeira, Port, cognac and Sangiovese wine casks. I get asked all over the country, um, people you know, always ask me, when are you gonna have Snowflake as a, as a national release? And, and I tell them, well, never, it's a Colorado thing. You know, you gotta come to the distillery. Um, that's, that's part of the adventure of that whiskey is to be able to come out to the, the distillery and, and share in the adventure of Snowflake. We left Janesville at 12.30 on Tuesday and uh, arrived here about 5.30 uh, Wednesday morning. There is no Janesville in Colorado, Mike Kirchhoff, Derek Hayden, and Mike's wife, Lynn, drove from Janesville, Wisconsin, and were first in line three days before Snowflake went on sale. There's a group of folks who've always been in the top 10 for the last several years. They were surprised, and that was the whole point. You know, we didn't want to let anybody know we were coming really early because we wanted the chance to be in the top 10, number one, but we really, we were shooting for, you know, first in line. So at quarter to six, when we rolled up here in the dark, uh, Wednesday morning and saw we were first in line. First thing we did was throw chairs right here. <laughs> you know, then we set up camp. The, the truck didn't even get out of park before Mike was, or out of gear before <laughs> Mike, Mike was jumping out and throwing the chairs up. He's like, <laughs> pretty funny. What did Rob say when he saw you guys? Oh, man, well, he was something like, he wow, says, you guys are early. Russell's going to be pissed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've been in the front of the line three times. I've been in the top ten seven times. This is my ninth release. Why? Uh, <laughs> obsession. It's, um, 
some people are passionate about whiskey and, and I started doing this and I escalated because I wanted to be at the front of the line. Same thing, bucket list. I'm like, I want to be at the front of the line. And then I got there and I'm like, I want to be at the front of the line again and again and again. And I just keep going earlier. I just keep adding about 12 hours to my camping trip every year. And I started out on Saturday morning and then ended up at Wednesday night. And, and I just keep pushing it further and further. And it keeps getting more and more fun every year. So now I'm more inclined to add more time to the trip and come out for three, four days at a time uh, just to do the camping part of it, just to hang out with all these guys and, and see friends that I only see once a year. Tell me what you said when you saw these guys because uh, I, from what they've told me, there was threats made about throwing <laughs> chairs out in the street, burning them, uh, certain four-letter words that were used. I was going to say, I can't, I can't repeat on camera what I said in the car when we got here, but yeah, there was, a, there was a little bit of temper tantrum thrown, there was a little bit of stone kicking, and, and a lot of the, the Wait fuming. Wait get in the here. The fuming. Come on, get in here. <laughs> she told the story. She's like, oh, you should have seen him. Tell me the real story of what he said. No, no, I'm not repeating. <laughs> it's like, it's just going That's on not TV. happening. <laughs> There was a lot of four. There was all the four letter words. There was really. there was a lot of four letter words. Right. Yep. And about a minute and yeah, a half of him yeah, literally yeah. standing there like this with his arms crossed, just glaring. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. So. There was a lot of fuming. There was. A lot of scowling. And I'm like, hey, babe, you know, you've been doing this for a while. You're part of Stranahan's. You're promoting their label it means that whether or not you like them you need to be a good person be friendly <laughs> he just looks at me and she goes shut up <laughs> I was like, don't even don't even don't even go there thanks for making me look good i went out there to greet him thursday morning uh, when we got up and and uh, i just went and said hi and said hey he says so you had to take my spot huh i said well we got here to, to be in the top 10 that's what we that was our goal is and within uh, about 45 minutes of that of, of discussing things he says hey we're gonna go grab some breakfast down at Denny's you want to come yeah so we joined him for breakfast and he bought so been like that ever since it's been it's like been that ever yeah. since as the moon rose over the south side of Denver the line kept on growing with tents campfires coffee and even whiskey infused donuts so all of our donuts start off with a brioche base and then we glaze all of them with a basic glaze and then decorate them afterwards. And then basically we have a collection of whiskeys that we have at our shop and we can infuse any of them with any, any of the donuts, any flavors with any of the alcohol that we have. How popular have they been tonight? They've been pretty popular. They've been really popular. We, had, we went through a stretch and we actually killed one bottle of whiskey already tonight. A little before 5 a.m., Rob Dietrich walked the line, thanking people for coming out on a chilly, but not bitterly cold Colorado night. We got here at about 8 p.m. last night, and uh, we came out because we did a, a distillery tour of Stranahan's when we first moved out to Colorado. We fell in love with it, and we've been trying to come out to the Snowflake release for as long as we can remember, and finally we just kind of said, screw it, let's go. I want to give you a, a bit of perspective as to just how long this line really is. This is the corner of the distillery. The front door and the front of the line are all the way down at the other end of the block. The line wraps around the building and back into the parking lot on the other side. About a thousand people or so are in line hours before the doors open for 1,300 bottles of Snowflake. After the sun came up, the Stranahan's team started handing out the golden tickets that let people buy two bottles of Snowflake each. Inside, their colleagues were making the final preparations, lining up bottles, gift boxes, and of course, commemorative swag. I'm a little out of it. I'm definitely uh, feeling a little loopy. Got some caffeine in me though, so... Uh, yeah. Um, I got to, I got a rally for the next uh, ten hours, and I think uh, at that I'm going to sleep like the dead. As the magic hour of 8 a.m. drew closer, Rob Dietrich drew his team in for a few final words of inspiration. All right, y'all, this is going to be the best snowflake ever. Yeah. Yeah. This, is the best yeah. ever. this is all to you. Cheers. 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 Many snowflakes. And many more. 
And Rob went out to greet Mike Kirchhoff, Derek Hayden, Russell Condon, and a few hundred of their closest friends on the sidewalk. You guys ready for some whiskey? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. So we got, uh, we're going to bring you guys inside. Um, uh, we got, uh, we got a, uh, uh, a whiskey station on the way in. You get to try a little of the sherry cask finish. Have you guys heard about that yet? Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's great. Phil, we got a little, a little jam for you guys to be able to try in there. And uh, uh, let's, let's roll in, yeah? Yeah. 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 Don't forget, this is the big snow flavor that you sugar honey. These people have been sleeping outside in the freezing cold. Well, you know, it's not that cold. The line snaked through the distillery with stops along the way for cocktails, posters, barrel signings, and a taste of the new Stranahan's Sherry Cask Whiskey until it finally reached the tasting room with this year's Snowflake. What do we got? One and two. One and two. You got right here. You got yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. Oh, my God. Oh, you guys want to get a gift box? Uh, is your tickets? Wow, our tickets, uh, yeah. Yes. A hundred dollars a bottle, and the line kept snaking in until 1,300 bottles had been sold, and most of them signed by Rob Dietrich. We waited in line since Wednesday. Now we've got number one, number two, number six, and number seven. What happened to three and four? Oh, there were a couple people in between me and my wife. So, so three and four, uh, my buddy Derek is getting signed right now, and then Russell was behind him, and then my wife. So, yeah, so we're all excited. We want to sit down, have a drink, warm up. We're good to go. So Till next year. Well, are you gonna are you gonna save number one and two? Or are you gonna drink them, or what are you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna crack them. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack. Certainly gonna crack open one of them. I'm not sure which one, but I'm gonna crack one of them. So I can't wait. In fact, I might do it in here. <laughs> Here's a postscript for you. After they went through the line, there was a trade out here by the RV. Mike traded Russell his bottle number one in exchange for Russell's bottle number nine. You see, Mike felt bad about beating Russell to the first spot in line, but Russell's collection of snowflakes are all numbered one and two. So Mike thought a trade was the right thing to do. You wouldn't see that very often. From our cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Denver, Colorado, I'm Mark Gillespie.